Hey everybody, I'm Meg Killingsworth, the Family Engagement Coordinator at Chesity Elementary. Hi, I'm Polly Tennis, I'm the principal. And today we're gonna share five tips for building your family's capacity. So first off, I get to go to lots of conferences with other family engagement coordinators, and we're always talking about ideas to get families to come. And they always revolve around serving food and raffle prizes mm -hmm. and providing childcare and this great content. But yet we get stuck on the fact that our attendance is not what we feel like it should be for the effort that we put into it. Lots of hard work to get those conferences and workshops ready. And then not enough people show up. And that's true. And we kind of gauge our success by the number of people who show up. So today we're going to share five ways to get different results. Uh, to bring your families up to speed and build their capacity. And it's kind of thinking differently because we like to say, if nothing ever changes, then nothing ever changes. So we're going to mm. try and give you five new ideas for building family capacity. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, uh, the mm. favorite one for me is to partner with your principal. So when we work together and we are aligned and we're thinking the same things, talking a lot about what we want to accomplish seems like mm -hmm. we get a lot more traction. Absolutely. So we have the same vision and we're able to share that and we meet weekly mm -hmm. um, to discuss things, to share with staff, to work with families. And so it's really important to kind of have that common vision. That's where we saw um, the family engagement become very powerful. Yes, absolutely. So mm -hmm. if you don't have it, then it's just something to work on sharing ideas or uh, sitting down together. Mm -hmm. Build that partnership. Idea number two. <laughs> <laughs> Become very visible. Mm -hmm. So there's different ways to do that. But as the family engagement coordinator, my job is to be the friend of the school mm -hmm. and also like a cheerleader or spokesperson for the school. So I could be behind email all day or Title I compliance or building folders or proof of what we do. And I do a lot of that. But where I can be physical visible like at the front door and families the need line, to see you you're there for them in the cafeteria then i mm -hmm. definitely do that mm -hmm. they need to know your name absolutely <laughs> and if you haven't mm -hmm. heard of something called academic parent teacher team meetings then you want to find out about those this is where we saw lots of our results really skyrocket through. skyrocket academic parent teacher teams gives families personalized data about their kid. Mm -hmm. And that's a reason to come because you want to know where is my child performing. Um, if you look at this spreadsheet, you can see people will get a number and the number relates to their child's progress. No one knows what your number is, but parents want to know mm -hmm. how is my child doing. And they like to see how's my child doing in comparison to the class and where should they be right now and where should they be at the end of the year. So it's a great graph to show mm -hmm. and they come and they feel like they really got something because not only do they get the ideas, but they see the data on their own child. Mm -hmm. um, when everyone comes, they come on the same night. They build sort of like a community within the classroom mm -hmm. and um, that community supports education for the, the class. You got it. So this would be like a first meeting in August. Mm -hmm. And then here's a graph showing a second meeting like mm. in December, January, February. Yeah. When families come back together and they can see the growth and yes. they take ownership in that uh -huh. growth of working at home mm -hmm. and seeing how their child is done. So that's something to really look into. APTT or mm. academic parent. -TTT. Highly rated skyrocket achievement there. Before we started APTT in 2014, when we had our curriculum night, we had 344 families show up. We were mm -hmm. so excited. We're a school of about a thousand students at that mm -hmm. time. So we were super excited about that. After APTT started, we saw that we had like 70% of our families mm -hmm. come out. Huge increase. Huge increase. So yeah. just this last August on our very first night, we had 745 families Ooh. attend APTT mm -hmm. in that curriculum night, which we kind of put together and blended for mm -hmm. the evening. So people can stay home. They can Google information on helping with reading. They can find their own activities. It's when you add that personalized data mm -hmm. about their own child 
that makes them want to come through your doors and hear what you have to say. The meeting's important. You got it. And here's just a picture of the community mm -hmm. of seeing, you know, lots of people in the classroom going over the information and talking with one another. Mm -hmm. All right. Tip four, meet families where they are. Who doesn't have a phone? That's, right. <laughs> That's where they are. They're on their phone. Yeah. If I'm working, if I'm not working, I'm going to spend some time on my phone during the day and even on social mm -hmm. media. So we have found uh, so much power in sharing messages through social media and uh -huh. on people's phones. Mm -hmm. um, there you are. There mm -hmm. we are. There's an example of a video message. We put the information in writing and then we say it. Um, we do a Facebook Friday show where I've got guests and they're oftentimes teachers, um, mm -hmm. new teachers, old teachers, so that our families can get to know our staff. But we like to share those messages so that uh, they can see us and it helps with my visibility mm -hmm. and it helps get uh, the word out. I think people like a face yes. with a message. Yes, absolutely. And it shows um, you hear the tone of voice. Mm -hmm. You see the body kindness. language. Absolutely. So mm -hmm. who doesn't love to watch people? Mm -hmm. And I like to share this message with our staff about why do videos. Um, if you think of your favorite newscaster, mm -hmm. you've never met that person. Person, but you trust that person to mm -hmm. give you the news. So it can be so important to um, do those videos because people will feel like they know you, mm -hmm. you're sharing messages or even short lessons. We do five minute uh, weekly little lessons through our Facebook. There's no reading necessary. So if they don't want to read, they can watch the video and it just breaks those barriers for those people who cannot get into the building. They can still hear what we have to say. If you have transportation issues or you can't leave somebody who is old or young, mm -hmm. you know, you don't have to worry about that because all you have to do is click and there's it. the message. You got it. And here's even sharing Title I information in mm -hmm. a friendly way. It makes that compact in policy not uh, so scary. Here it is. We're explaining mm -hmm. it and this is what you're signing. Mm -hmm. And then we got a really sweet surprise by doing videos and our staff wanted to do videos as well. Nice. So they started sending them out a little bit here and there to their cool. class, um, classes to share information and talk about new things that they were doing. Mm -hmm. So tip so five. Tip five, stick <laughs> with it. Mm -hmm. You know, um, this is my ninth year as the principal here, and mm -hmm. you have been doing the family engagement job for- This is year five. Okay. Mm -hmm. So like the longer you do something, I like to think the better you get at it. That's right. So um, take a couple of these ideas, see if something might fit you in your situation mm -hmm. and work on it. And just a personal story, on year four, I wasn't sure how I could grow our family engagement program anymore. I was out of ideas. We'd done APTT. <laughs> we, were done, we were doing Facebook Friday. And then what I realized is by sticking with it, I was building it because people were coming and trusting me because I wasn't a new face that didn't, I didn't hand it to somebody else to mm -hmm. take over and build. I stuck with it and I kept doing what we were doing, but they trusted me because I've been doing it a while. Relationships. Mm -hmm. That's what brings it to you. So we're a people business. You got it. Hey, in summary, <clears throat> here we go. You don't have to do all five at once. Pick one or two that make sense. Build those relationships, mm -hmm. especially family engagement and principal. And you will work hard, but you will reap the benefit of seeing some great things happening at your school. Good you luck to it. you. You can Good do luck. it. Thanks, everybody.